from the Triple M Studios. God, it's all happening. This is the Marty Shear Gold Show. Triple M. It is the full show dump uh, about to unfold for you. Where yes. are you listening? Anywhere in the world. Or watching? Oh, wa- oh, watching? Oh, watching, of course. Oh, right. now, on, now on YouTube. It's everywhere. a hump dump, too. It's a hump dump. <laughs> it's a, it is. It's, it's the Wednesday. Wednesday yeah, hump. Wednesday hump. Yeah. Our first one for the year. First one for the year. Yeah, yeah. Jizz, it was a... Uh, Did you say Jizz? Jizz. I said, no, I Jeez probably it. didn't. You said Jeez, it was. I didn't finish my sentence, but it was a yeah. struggle for me to open my eyes this morning on a wake oh, yeah. up. Day three. You know when you get back to work and you've had a couple of weeks off? Yep. It takes a little while to get back. I hit a little bit of snooze and my emergency alarm went off. And if it didn't, I would have. You are brave. Yeah, Mm. there's no reason to ever snooze. I snooze no. every day. Oh, do you? Every oh, day. I'd no. hate that. I've just got to get up. No, I'll never I get can't up. can't make it any harder. Me than too. It already is. <sighs> yeah. Snoozing to me is not rewarding. I need a warning. Yeah. No, because it feels like, because sometimes if I, my first alarm's at 3.52 and if I wake up then, then I go, okay, no. I don't really have to be up for another 10 minutes. So I close my eyes again. And then sometimes I get like dreams. No, I don't want yeah. to do that. No. I just got to get up that's and get the It would make me feel worse. It's dangerous game. It's a dangerous game. Dangerous but that's game. why you have emergency alarms. It's a dangerous yeah. game. Yeah. Matthew has eight of them and he's slept through all of them a few no, times. No, 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 no. I'm on the Troy train now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I went, I went, I went, Troy guy. <laughs> Old school radio, clock radio over on the other side of the bedroom. Yeah. yeah. So I have to physically get but, out. But you're also so anxious that that's actually going to go off because that's your full emergency one, isn't it? Like that doesn't really go off. One alarm on my iPhone, half an hour later. But you're getting so much more snooze. Like you're get, you're sleeping so much more because you used to snooze from two a.m. or something. Didn't yeah, you? Mm. that was silly. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. But snoozing, that, that was mad. But snoozing is the ultimate reward. It I is. have get. I, I've I always done had, it. My whole I've life. had dreams yeah. in yeah. my snooze windows. Nine minutes, a dream in there. Yeah, I just get woken by a vibration on my wrist. Yeah, now. me too. And I've <laughs> apologised twice. <laughs> I've been doing that for years, Troy. It's the best way. So good. Yeah. It doesn't wake me. It doesn't wake your partner. But it will wank you. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a nice very, feeling. It's, it's a lovely feeling, feeling. It's a lovely it's feeling to be wanked. <laughs> Could I you mean, be, well, that's yeah. if you, both those places. It just depends where you attach the watch. Matthew. Yeah. Well, mine's, sure. on, <laughs> mine's on my wrist. <laughs> oh. I have thought about I've though, shelved two. <laughs> oh, okay. Two <laughs> Apple watches. Good morning. <laughs> morning. It's like that guy from the chess championships. <laughs> there was one in our break. He was proven innocent, wasn't he? Another was a Chinese guy that got done. A butthole vibration. Yep. What? He uh, defecated what in his hotel bath. Uh, what? Hang on. After winning a... Yeah. What? But so, how did like they know a, that? So what does that mean? Where's my uh, water, by the way? So... Great question. Is my what? Doug not here? Did you not... Um, did, did you not bring it, it in at all? Fill I think I brought Doug in. I don't think you've had any. Nick, can you locate Marty's Doug bottle, please? My Doug, mate. Thank you. It could um, be in the kitchen. This is from the 27th of December. Since we've been gone. Mm. Since we've been gone. <laughs> Chinese chess champ. Banned for year after pooping in bathtub, rumoured to have used anal beads. But ha- I mean, oh, well, anal I, beads is one thing. They're transmitting what his next move should be. Okay. And he's going like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, so it's like Morse code. So it might yeah. be the, yeah. the letter C. Correct. You know, which which corresponds to the board. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like C rook one. to C Rook to four. four. F five. Thank you, mate. Mm-hmm. Um, right. But uh, what is, so how do they know he pooped in the bathtub? Yeah. Wasn't he oh, doing it in I, I imagine all the poo in the bath would have. Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty good hint. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of ways you yeah. can tell if someone's pooed yeah, in the bath. But do you just hose it, it down yeah, though? Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. yeah, I don't you, know. What do they call it? Frog stomp or whatever it is? When you... <laughs> oh, <laughs> frog stomp. Oh, waffle, waffle stomp. Waffle. Silver chair. <laughs> I was going to say, from their 94 album. <laughs> Sorry. Don't My apologies to Daddy Cos and the crew. Um, <laughs> Their album is about And he's a massive pooing. fan of yours, Daniel John. We're friends. Yeah. I wonder if he's still following me. This could be sad. No, <laughs> don't, no, don't, don't look. No, no, no. It's not worth checking. Yeah. No, well, he's a busy guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. All right, what do we got? Um, he's been banned, that guy. Yeah. Uh, hi to YouTube, by the way. Hello, YouTube. Hi, uh, YouTube. If, if anyone's watching. I actually pulled it up on my TV yesterday just to have oh, a look. Oh, you were big fun. screen. Big ah. screen. And it's very crisp. Mm. Oh, is it? Amazing. And because and on your phone, yeah. on Instagram, the footage is usually portrait. Yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah. A, the size of a phone. Yes. Yeah. But this is widescreen. And I don't know. It just feels roomier. It, it feels, feels more does, it, does it feel like it's been shot for the IMAX? It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chris, Chris Nolan did. <laughs> Is, is Chris do, Christian doing anything spe- uh, special for it? Christian just Nolan. Our... Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I know, Christian I mean, does special things every I know, single day. What I mean is, is it just the Christian? quality of the cameras? It's the quality no. of the cameras. Quality he's of the cameras. Putting but then he's doing lots of things to it. Like, you know, the pictures go up that we're looking at, the videos, the ad that you quoted yesterday, Marty. He's doing a nice ad. Right. Uh, Mr. Wong, Mr. Wong. Oh, I've lost my traveler's check. I mistook the roles of that. Yeah. It was a long time ago. That was 1985. I was a kid. Yeah, that's right. I was a kid. 1985, yeah. you say? Well, it might be handy to remember for tomorrow. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's exactly why yeah. you knew that year. <laughs> 100% that's yeah. right. 100%. You were going to put Mr. That. Wong, Mr. I know, Wong in. I wanted to, but I didn't But is it that year? Oh. Well, we had to do homework. Probably. Okay, yeah. 36. I'm just going to Google it. Um, <laughs> this is from Flick, Queen of Three Way. Yep. Oh, hello, who, Flick. Uh, we love Flick. Matthew, Lauren, and I met. Did you meet Flick, Troy? Because Troy came did. to the yeah. Yeah, producer's pod. Flick, Flick was well. one of the last there. We all got kicked out of the pub. She flew in. She missed the first she, she was two right, hours yeah. Last so. in, last out. Mm. And then she yeah. left at 6 a.m. the next morning to fly back to Queensland. Oh, my God. Her flight was delayed. Two men, Marty, drove from Adelaide. To do what? To come to our event. See us. Oh, see my us. God. And we're like, you guys mm. realize Marty's in here? They were like, we know. Yeah. Lemo wasn't even there. That was the attraction for them. <laughs> no, they were all big Marty fans. Were they? Yeah. They said, we've come for Marty, and now we're here for you guys too. I'm like, guys, thank you. <laughs> no, no, you said that. You're no, quoting yourself. No, I didn't. <laughs> Someone said it to me. <laughs> oh, I reckon yeah. I can find the audio of you going, we know that you all came for Marty, but we'd like to think you stayed for us. Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't Chris, the listeners at all. No, but someone Christian did say that to yes. me. Maybe yeah. that's why they said it to me. <laughs> Christian was agreeing. <laughs> Cricket's on, guys. Hurry up. Yeah, it's new. <laughs> okay, turn these televisions off. No, do not turn that television off. Leave that one on. Leave well, you're seven. you're distracted just, by... No, just leave seven on. Jeez, Justin Lang is a Thank short God. man, isn't he? Thank yeah, God. he is a short man, but that doesn't mean he wasn't a brilliant cricketer. Oh, got nothing to do with his ability. And look right, at then. that giant man next to him. Yeah. Ian Bishop. Oh, it is too. Oh. He's tall. Adelaide Oval looks underwhelming. I was just yeah. thinking. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Is that Adelaide Oval is actually a beautiful oh, oval. No, oh, no. I, I mean, it's empty. It's. <laughs> it, I think it's the Maybe they're going to be the rain. Has all that yeah. rain that's coming to our part of the world was there started yesterday? That, was there yesterday? Yeah, it looked like yeah. it was coming from that way. Can, yeah. we get a, can we get an Adelaide weather update? Oh, yes. Just for those yeah. of us who are... Look, cricket fans, and Adelaide's look, this will mean nothing if you're listening to this in four years' time. <laughs> yeah. But it's Australia versus Partly West cloudy Indies. today, mainly fine. Tops of 23 degrees for Adelaide. Great. Nothing on the radar. We 17 degrees now. Yeah. Great, yeah. we're going to get um, some cricket away. First test uh, Adelaide uh, this summer being 2024. Mm. We were talking about something yes. fun before. What was that? The producer's podcast. Oh yeah, Flick. Yes, Flick. Flick. Here is Flick. Uh, she was oh. listening. There she uh, is. She was Flick. watching, watching the YouTube. She's whacked it up on the big screen and gone. Gone HD, full HD yep. yourself. I yep. think that's the only way to do it. I don't know why anyone's watching now, YouTube on a phone. I've Flick's been got the uh, drying rack out on the uh, balcony oh, there. Oh, yeah. She's analysis. from Queensland. And she's got one of those weird Dyson oh, that's, fans. That I, have got? That, I have that fan in my bedroom. They don't have a blade. A blade. But I, was I love saying them. To you before, I, I don't know if you're in the studio actually before, Marty. I was saying that I got one of those Dyson things and it's like an air purifier too. Like it kind of sucks in and blows and, out. And, put and out, all that. puts out clean And I air. looked at the little... This vent down here, I've only had it going for about a month, and I looked yeah. at it, and it was just caked filthy with dust. dust. Really? So I just got my vacuum cleaner, one of the attachments, and with the little bristles, and I just mm. vacuumed yeah. it all out. You need to do that. I was like, how horrifying. She's got one of those yeah. beautiful um, figs we all love as well. Fiddle 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 She's oh. also got a soundbar, which oh, if you've got I a new TV, to, yeah. I've got a oh, soundbar. Sound sound you need right. a soundbar. I need to yeah. get a soundbar. Yeah. They're, they're so expensive. cheap. Are they? Can you all recommend? Yeah. Okay. Not to be confused with sounding bars, which we spoke about a little earlier. Very different. If you try and sound ding bar with a soundbar, you're going to end up in hospital. Wow. Ron Jeremy. And half your luck. <laughs> Apart from some of the allegations around Ron, obviously. Yes. Uh, Flick also noticed my phone cover, which was, um, it's that for the people yes, on YouTube. It's, it's dignity. It's dignity. It's a Simpsons joke. What? Oh, I don't yeah. get it. I've, yeah. No, you oh, want it. No. Um, we have a Max Gorn lookalike. Oh, really? Yeah. Who is on the show today as well. For those who that was heard. a very handsome photo we put of Max Gorn on the Instagram story. Wasn't it story. just? I <laughs> yeah. saw it and I was a bit like, ooh. It's like a, who's that? Is it's that a a from a Lululemon shoot from today? Something? Yeah, because yeah, we... it was like a Max Gorn coming up on the show. He All looked right. I'll, 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 I'll mm. put it, it up on He's a good looking man. Wonderful He's lighting. He's a good looking man. Lovely yeah. teeth, lovely eyes. Mm. Yeah. GCP fit at the moment. Oh, oh my yeah. God. This has been when your footy players are the fittest. Obviously, you're listening to the podcast, but he talks about running three and a half minute kilometres. Yeah. I mean, for a man yeah. his size, how tall is he? Six foot eight? Six oh, seven yeah. or something? Two oh th- six three? seven? Yeah. To be yeah. running three and a half minute Ks oh, with that frame. That, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> 209 centimetres. It's tall enough. 209? Yeah. That photo looks like it's the what he's doing SAS Australia. Yeah. Mm. I need 209 in feet and inches. Yeah, I'm trying to. Because I don't get yeah. it. I, don't uh, get I think he's six foot, six foot eight. I still think on my best days I could have beat him in the ruck. 
<laughs> you, he could just oh, go wow. like this. He got up on his shoulders. He's 6'10". 6'10"? Six ten. Six six ten. Ten. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Tall man. You know, I, um, He's a foot taller than you, Marty. I had a <laughs> couple of beers at the uh, cricket with Matthew Richardson. Oh, yeah. Richo. Former Tiger, great. And I said to Richo, in my heyday, you would not have intimidated me in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> and I would have bashed you from one end of the field to the other. And then he looked at me, he goes, they could kick a hundred balls to you and I, and you wouldn't get one of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's hard to deny. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah. Return <laughs> serve. Because <laughs> he's, he's tall. Mate. He'd have, he'd have your reach covered. And massive engine on him. Yeah. God. Engine? Just run all day. Gut running. Mm. Uh, mm. This is the lookalike that Cameron sent through of Max Gorn, and it's from uh, the National Hockey League. Mm. Uh, that's a good one. I, oh, now I've lost this. Oh, my no, God. Oh, wow. It's a very good that's one. Incredible. Jeez, that looks so much the, like him. the beard is the same, obviously. Yeah. Beard, it's mainly the, the beard. He's an ice hockey guy. Yeah. Um, his name Spoilers. is... Oh, he didn't actually tell me the name. Great. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an ice hockey guy for the Oilers. Yeah, yeah. he looks like Max Gorn. Are ice hockey players a bit of a dick? Like, so they're aggressive. A lot of fighting yeah. in ice hockey. So yeah. we were at ice skating at the... Bradbury Arena. That's what they've called it in the O'Brien Ice Rink. The so, Bradbury so they Arena. Should. That's, that's for the yeah. beginners. Hilarious. Mm. But on the other, there was actually professional players, and anyone that was standing around just watching them, they were getting pucks and just piffing them towards what? like the protective wall, like to scare them away. Oh, oh. That's... They're just there what? to support you. Like, don't be an asshole. I don't about like it. that. It's a bit macho, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't fun. seem right. Nah. I don't like no, that. I don't I like that. I didn't How are we going that. for time here? Yeah, good. Uh, this is from Harry. <laughs> no, you uh, just want to go and watch the cricket. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> it doesn't start for another hour. I know. Yeah, I like to get all the lead up. Steve Smith's talking about batting. I mean, this is when we'll you learn about you. cricket. Yeah. Uh, Harry, he's very good too. Um, Copeland. Uh, Copeland. Gee, he's um, good. His he's analysis. in front of the LED screen. Mate, he really gets cricket. Yeah. The tall guy. Mm. Yeah. He's very skinny. I'm more well, of a fox guy, though. I don't, the, the ads annoy me on seven. Sure. I get that. Mm. <sighs> okay. Uh, Harry says, William Snakespear, Aussie listener living in London, just popped over to Lapland for the new year. Recommend. Oh, it's okay. in Finland. That's up at the, the top would, of the would Arctic. Would that have giant long days? Uh, in summertime, yes. Mm. In darkness, uh, this time of the year. So yeah, New Year's, year. Ooh, new year's Eve rainies. would have oh been yeah. dark. Is and that where they have Santa? Like they have. Yeah. Yeah, and Santa, there is a full Santa. Um, yeah, get on. Hey, there's those things we love. Igloo. The igloos. The igloos. Oh, like yeah. Glass window. Those glass At in, the Aurora ig- Borealis. Yeah, you can see the uh, the Northern Jeez. Lights. Well, that's Wait. what Harry did. Oh. Uh, did he? went on a four-hour Northern Lights hunt at midnight, did yeah. jammed into a van. I think this is to do with holiday nightmares that we did recently. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, jammed into a van with a bunch of strangers. Negative 30 Celsius outside. Yeah, Jesus. 20 Chilly. minutes in, I started throwing up every time we stopped the car. Dehydration, I think. Oh, get some water in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Four, yeah, four hours later, we've seen nothing, the middle of nowhere, and I've vomited five times. Oh, how awful. So he, so holiday he didn't, nightmare. He didn't yeah. even end up seeing the lights. Uh, start to head home. Guide quickly pulls over, points to the sky. <laughs> points to the sky. I quickly yak one last time, look up, see the northern lights once in a lifetime sort of Great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Good. It still sounds like it's yeah. horrible. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Not sure if it's worth it. Jeez, that looks amazing. That's I'd love to go there. That's how you've got to do it in those igloos. In those yeah. glass yeah. igloos. They're not I've, cheap. I've looked, at, I've looked at them. I there think we, we all yeah. looked at them together yeah. once, didn't we? Yeah. We did. But they weren't stupid. No. No. Yeah, okay, so you only need a couple of days there. Yeah, you're not staying yeah, three there for nights. yeah two three nights. That'll do. You're not staying there for weeks on end. Not in, not in minus thirty degrees centigrade. Thanks. Mm. Vaguely remember something like three thousand dollars a night. Cool. That's, well, we split most it, get, get most people are pretty steep. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get what split for. it amongst us, and we can all share. See, that's where Santa Claus's yeah. village is. Yeah, oh, right. Geez, I'm... The Husky Safari. That's where you can go out and shoot a husky. Oh, <laughs> They're surprisingly hard to shoot. Sneaky little fellas. <laughs> really good. <laughs> good hunting dog, is it? Oh, yep. if you could put a husky between the eyes, you're shooting well. <laughs> it was easier than when I killed that lion oh. with me dentist, mate. <laughs> I'm always disappointed when people I respect I find out that I know. They've shot a lion. I know. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. killed the big five. Well yeah. done. You've done nothing. You <laughs> just yeah. pulled the trigger. Yeah. Exactly. Go out and place wrestle where the animals it's... are roped in. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's only how much room for two people for is that both nights? It's only two thousand dollars. Is it? What? Yeah. They're giving it away. Oh, two thousand dollars a night. That is cheap. I think it was two four. <laughs> I don't think it's a night. I think it's that's for food, two nights. Food, uh, so, breakfast included, I'm assuming. And this beautiful cheese platter. 
Oh, well, you didn't mention oh. the cheese platter. Oh, I mean, that is good value. Oh, so no, what's that? For no, two no, people, no, 600 no, bucks no, no, each no, no, the and all. The total just came up. Oh, what's the total? They're sneaky. 2,700 yeah. euros. How much is that? Oh, that's 4,200 4, bucks. But that's the yeah. total. That's for two nights with all of the stuff and everything. Yeah, so it's still an expensive thing. I've got to get there. So mm. six, 700 bucks. It's my Windows screensaver. I see it every day. You got five grand, mate. Who are you kidding? And you love the cold. I do love this. This is your holiday, mate. This is your holiday. How do you get there, though? Via uh, Helsinki, and then you got fly to a town called Riviamani or Rivimini or something. Did you know everything? My favorite guy, well travel, travel professional. (laughs) You should have to do the show with his hat on. Tomorrow's podcast, I'm going to find one. When we ask you for travel advice, you should have to put the pilot's hat on. Yes. You're incredible, though. Just, that is such well, a strange question to ask I someone. know, and I didn't know this until recently because someone in my family went there with right. her oh, yeah, kids you did tell just before that. Christmas. Yeah. So I yeah. found and did these about, or just went there? Did these igloo things. Did she? Yeah, she did loved she it. Did she love it? Yeah, did she and see? they were doing reindeer rides and all sorts of huskies. Being, you know, dragged That's a around. restaurant in the ice. Yeah, an ice it's restaurant. All the Northern Lights. Got one of those in South Bank. Yes, I know. I need to visit uh, Troy Centre. Uh, Troy Centre. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I need I'll to help. get some travel advice. I'll help you, William. Um, we have our first contribution for Lawn Gore. Okay, yes. then oh. we're stopping. Now, but do you have your square? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <should laughs> oh yeah, Matthew has uh, is going to start us off <laughs> oh, yeah. with yeah. his Lawn Gore. Um, we were doing lawn porn and we thought, well, that's fun. Don't get me wrong. I yeah. love mowing more than your average man. In fact, would you like to see some lawn porn first? Yes, Because yeah. it's been sent in by our friend Nixon. I'm not saying. Nixon. I'm not saying. And Nixon across the ditch who nicks all our gear. Yeah, but he said he's not doing that anymore. Yeah, good time. man. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying don't send in your lawn porn. No, please. Mm. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. Oh, I'm just saying some lawn gore would We're be fun. always open to lawn porn. Because yeah. this is good. It, it, is this Nixon's? Of, it makes you appreciate lawn porn. Uh, welcome back, Marty. Thought I would send something I've been working on the last six months. Jesus. Just mowed it. Back and then to... I've gone on Nixon's profile. So yeah. this is the Nixon Clark. Yeah. Uh, and he's a radio guy on Edge. And oh, he's yeah. on the Edge. Edge. He he's a greenskeeper. Yes. Oh. Yeah, because I, 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 I didn't know if he was having me on. Just like no, he's that, been... but that's a beautifully manicured, uh, manicured golf course. I, uh, but look at this. No, Nixon has, yeah. Nixon's mowed this. Oh, oh Jesus wow. Christ, that is amazing. Does radio not pay well in New Zealand? I think he does it. He like, enjoys doing this. He's got a second job, or is he out of radio now? No, he's still in radio. Still but how fun! Like he must. I think he side finds hustle, this like yeah. you would, Marty. You you would I, find that. I find that so meditative. Yeah. That is mindfulness in operation. Yeah. yeah. If you want to stay in the moment, welcome to that. Yeah. <laughs> and you know how he's done it. Yeah. On a with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no clippers. <laughs> with um with walking mowers. So he hasn't been in, uh, on the ride on. Oh gee. Oh, and my then God. Oh, it's that thing. Wow. And then he sent through it's his. Like a, it looks like a crazy go kart that, that one of his mates has yeah. built. Yeah. Is that two, like are they? Oh. Is that one his backup and one's yeah, his first I one? I don't know what's, I don't know what's going so on. I think it would just increase your blade size. And then oh look God. at that. He's done. You'd like this, Troy? Oh, this okay. is why he's doing it. He's closing his rings. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. He's done 13 and a half K. I Jeez. should get into this. This is seven right. and a half thousand steps. 17 and a half thousand steps. That Those is... wrongs have just been snip shut. Terry, snip closed. I've been shut. trumping and shut my rings. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> probably the worst yeah. I've ever shit done. <laughs> shut my rungs. Oh, that um, much you've got to have some right. fun jumps. Ma- no, no, Matthew's long gone. Oh, yeah, long gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, Here yeah. we go. Should be with you now. Uh, oh, here's Matthew. Matthew. Oh. Uh, Oh, Here's Matthew's God. patch of lawn, which unfortunately has had a dog visitor. Yeah, so Winston's been weeing on that patch. And it's really it's, it's really killed good. it off. Yeah. But that is the entire amount of lawn in your backyard. Yeah, it, that's I, it. We never really found out why it's even there. Yeah, because <laughs> the re- next to it is gravel. Yeah, that's where I said the, gravel. That's where the washing line is. Right. Why, prefer... why can't there be grass under the washing line? Oh, you yeah. can never do Or that. just make the whole thing gravel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just keep a strange <laughs> choice. Yeah. I think you should have a little gardening day or build this up and make it a little tiny herb garden. Gardening yeah. day? What am I going to do with it? Look, I can't bring no, it back to life. Build it up, build it, mm. get rid of it, and build it up with a planter box and have yeah. a little herb garden. Oh, I'd 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 rent this place. I'm not do you reckon, a single do you reckon the bloke it? had a square metre from, of, yeah. of turf yeah. from out the front? Exactly. Whack it out of that. Just put some astroturf there. That'll fix it. Yeah, yeah I th- I'm with Matthew. He's in a rental. 
Yeah, I'm I wouldn't not, even. I wouldn't even look at it. I'm not spending any money on it. I mowed it and I've given it a water, and it looks oh, good. No. It's it done well. Amazing. That's a good here, start for us. Here is Tony's lawn. Let's have a look at and Tony's this is lawn. Perfect. Lawn. That is. Oh, yeah. That is that's, perfect. That's exactly what you don't because want your lawn to look that's like. That's not even grass. No, <laughs> that's, that's some weed. Kind of weed. That's weed. Yeah. and it's hard. It's sort of patchy. Hard. Yeah. That would hurt your bum to sit on. You're like, that's never going to feel good. That'll have ants in it. Bindies. Yeah. It'll have bindies. That is full of ants. Yeah, bull ants. Is that, a, is that a star picket just laying on the ground at the foot of the tree there, the top of the frame? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh is that the edging for the actual tree? Oh. Concrete oh. edge. Nice touch. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good edging. But you see the, uh, the, the other side of the The other side, driveway. perfect. Amazing. How did you get it so right over there? Yeah, well, that's so the neighbour, I'd say. That's yeah, not the other yeah. side of the driveway. I reckon mm. the shade of the tree has killed off the grass. It hasn't had enough... Some That's you, actually, oh, yeah. Very good theory, Matthew. Jeez, Matthew, Jeez, you're on fire. For someone with you, you such a tiny patch of grass. You understand lawn gore. <laughs> you say a tiny brain for a second there. <laughs> Never. All right, let's get right. moving. The Marty Sheargold Show. Hello. Available on the Listener app. Check it out. Do yourself a favour. Catch up anytime you like. There's even some extra bits. Sounds like an right. OnlyFans page. Triple M's <laughs> Marty Sheargold Show. Just search Marty on the Listener app. Oh, you dirty mm. old bird. Backhead's back. How did that feel? The dump, the show dump, felt all right for a hump day? For a hump day dump. I thought day dump. it felt exceptional. Exceptional. First week back. Max gone. Max oh. gone, I know. Great chat. I really enjoy. He's a lovely man. Hearing Max talk. You tell me the day that Max came in and we didn't have a good chat, you won't be able to find him. No. 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 He's no. just a, you, he's a captain. Yeah. He is. Yeah. What I always say about elite sporting captains yeah. is you know you've been captained. Yeah. yeah. Your dad for the second time and struggling with that at the moment yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying he was like a second dad for me. And I thought, <laughs> sh- maybe he is. <laughs> now that you mention it. Now that you mention it. There's so it's much similarity figure. between yeah. the two of you. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot yeah. of similarity between Max and I. <laughs> he yeah. could technically be your son, but... Technically. How old's Max? Yeah, I think he's about 32. He had a birthday. Yeah, I could have had him day before yours. Yeah, That's right. Um, the 30th. 30th of Dece- <laughs> um, the news. It says 30th of December, yeah. It would be a yeah. surprising son. Oh, you... That would be very surprising for but me. But you've always said you could be, you're, you're old enough to be my dad just. Yeah. I'm well, old I'm old a year be, older than him. I'm old enough to be Max's dad. It yeah. just yeah. would seem strange that I could produce Max out of my oh, body. Oh, that would be weird. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I would love to see Max's parents. Oh, I thought you were going to say Look his penis. <laughs> <laughs> and I was with you. <laughs> Please search Max's penis. I'd love to parents. see Max's penis. No, no, I, no. no. Ooh, I'm joking. No. But I would. You don't, no, don't oh interfere God, with someone's cute. manhood. Are oh they my, his parents? Yeah, interfere. No, no, no they're, they're fans. I was <laughs> going to say, how have they produced <laughs> the Wodonga Raiders? That must be them top left. Yeah, but. That's draft night. Well, this. Yes. Oh, my God. Look he how looks cute. like his dad, doesn't he? Yeah. He does. Oh, he does look like his dad. He really does. There he looks like some He looks like actor. a skater boy. Yeah, but I can't. Oh, my God, he's That's the so same cute. night. There we go. There he we doesn't go. even know what kind of career he's going to have. Like, look no, at him look now. Look at all his yeah. mates yeah. who come over for draft night. God, love him. He's still smoking back then. I wonder if he's still friends with any of those kids in that room. I, I think bet so. he is. We should ask him. Um, yeah, we need to remember this. What? The, to show him this photo. Yeah. He comes in the draft night in front of the TV. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Beautiful man. Uh, get in touch through <laughs> Insta at Marty Shegold Show. William, what do you have? I just saw the uh, Triton ranker for December. Triton. Our, uh, yes, it's where they rank all the podcasts in Australia. Oh, okay. yeah, but we were off air for December. We oh. had no content. We came 100th, <laughs> which I'm really happy with. Oh, that's good. We cracked the top 100 with <laughs> no content. Top 100. Are you serious? Yeah. We had 39,000. 000... 700 listeners in the month of December. Well, thank oh, you wow. for everyone that's gone back yeah, through yeah. the archives. Yeah. 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 The whole it, audience there. Oh, we'll go through it after. There was no content. Yeah. No content <laughs> wow. at all. Well, thank that's you bizarre. for being a part Isn't of it. Isn't that great? Did we that not is. put up? I thought we were putting things up. No. There might have been like a best no. of or something. But no, no, it says Matthew no. quite no. confidently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just took a little break. <laughs> what else? <laughs> we, didn't rec- we didn't record anything. Oh, we were going to and yeah, we, we never were. got around to it. Yeah. Exactly. Will was on his honeymoon. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's all right. We had a summer. Yeah. And we'll sure have did. a summer next year as well. <laughs> yeah. I won't be recording anything. <laughs> no one's asking you. <laughs> uh, from Dan. Morning, you big specimen. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> and the rest of the crew. It's bloody refreshing to hear the best team in the country back on the air. Oh, well Dan done, A. Morrison. Dan. Yes, Dan A. Morrison. Uh, just a quick follow-up to Loz's saying on yesterday's show that she hadn't got around to giving the bibs out. My baby is now I know, 12 born weeks. I know, born in April. <laughs> no. Sorry, 12 weeks to being born. Yes, he's going to be born in April. I know. He, yeah. got, he said, if you can do this, and I've, I always think about this, I'm like, he is going to get a bib. 
When she said she'd send it, it was 12 weeks in. Mm. So now the cheeky 16 weeks between, maybe if we have a baby shower and it's a dress-up party, she could come along. Mm. We'll see. It'd be easier to send the bids. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. would be. I had to look, look through my emails because I had to do the expense report and they were ordered <laughs> from Kmart Online on the 1st of June last year. Are oh you my joking? And, been and you in haven't office sent them? Ever since June. I well, have... get Nick to do it if you're not going to do it. <laughs> don't. I have said a thousand times, I don't know the process. How do I get these people's addresses? I don't know. <laughs> I've asked call everyone them. a thousand. Just call them. Have they got phone numbers attached? As if I'm Yeah, they've like, been on three-way. Get course. Nick to call them. What's hates making phone calls? And then get calls. Nick to buy 32 post packs and send the bibs out. No, apparently the sending is easy. We just give it to Petra. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll so get our receptionist. <laughs> oh, so but you've just got to walk those bibs to reception? <laughs> We've got to write on them. Jesus <laughs> Christ, mate. But I need their addresses. Get oh. Nick to ring them. Okay, Nick. You have a job to do. I'm sorry. But also, I'm happy to put it into Audata, but I don't know how to use Audata. <laughs> I'm not a producer. <laughs> Terrible. If I'm telling you how to do it, yeah, you're not a producer. <laughs> what okay? does it say on your business card? Does it say producer? What does it say on your business, business card? Remember business when I got business cards and the only phone number on it was, was reception? reception. <laughs> 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 there was a second and then, it was the, like... and then reception <laughs> would never <laughs> tell me. Never. Yeah. Never tell Marty oh, if he's had a call. Oh, this an accident? No, no. <laughs> no he, did the whole, he was like, why don't I have business cards? I need to have business cards. I, I want my business cards. cards. <laughs> Everyone else has got business <laughs> That box of business cards sat in, the, in oh, our office. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> what did it say? Marty Sheargold announcer? Yes. Yeah. Drive yeah. show? And had... the receptionist <laughs> number. Yeah. I had them too. They used to give them out to us, I think, didn't they? So you didn't have an email. You didn't have your mobile number on it. What is the point? Exactly. Status. None. I wanted cards, mate. Sure. It is yeah. fun. Okay. Everyone like, yeah. asked for it. Here's, here's, here's my number. Yeah. <laughs> He's at a party. Mate, you never need anything. You want tickets to something? I think it's more just funny. I <laughs> yeah. would get... Oh, I know for reception? <laughs> yeah. Can I speak to Marty? No, we no. don't let people speak to Marty. <laughs> <laughs> so why do I call this number? <laughs> Oh, God, that's very funny. Uh, This is from Adrian. He sent this on Christmas Eve at 7.31 p.m. And he says, I found Mick Malloy in the Louvre. Oh, (laughs) give us a look at Mickey. This is funny. Give us a look at Mickey in the Louvre. I don't know when we're going to speak to Mick next, but we need to show him this. Mm. Look how funny this painting is. Oh, my God. I don't oh, think Mick would like that. That's so rough. I don't think Mick would be happy with that. The face doesn't look like Mick. The face looks like him. Oh, it's well, very it's Malloy-esque, it's, it must yeah, be but, said. Very yeah, just, rare that you see a man painted in that position. I know. Yeah, yeah, it seems very wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is he being fed grapes? Uh, what, I think what, he's being he? having his hand kissed. What is that? Is that the and devil? Who's, and who's is he pouring him? something yeah. into a glass? I think that top guy is emptying something something into a glass. I, I want to know yeah. the meaning behind it because you're right, Will. That looks like the devil. He's got horns or he's something. He's got horns him. and there's a donkey a... on the other side. Interesting photo. The top on. guy Here looks it is. ripped. Oh, I've got the, okay, it's from okay. Uh, 1626. Jesus. Wow. Um, Last time Richmond won a flag. <laughs> <laughs> Richmond? They won a... I'm joking. Oh. It's a little Mickey joke. Oh. Um, it's called Drunken Selenus. Yeah. Uh, the central figure is Selenus, oh. lying on a cloth and offering a wine cup to the figure behind him. To the right is Pan. Oh, that's Pan, Pang? of course. The the <laughs> mythical sort of goat man flute player. This oh, yeah. guy? Oh. oh, like the one from Hercules. Mm, I'm not sure about the that. The Disney movie, <laughs> the voice by Danny DeVito. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, I think it is. Yeah, yeah I think it is that. <laughs> right. Um, great. Um, nice. He's surrounded by a shell mm. symbolising the announcement of his death and a turtle, symbol of laziness. Oh. So he's a bit of a sloth telling yeah. everyone he's about to die. What's with the donkey? <laughs> I can't. Oh, I see. The oh donkey. no, that's Ida Butros. My apologies. <laughs> it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Ida. Yeah. Well, that's why she's front of mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could have been anyone. <laughs> could have been Liz Ellis. Yeah. <laughs> could have birthday as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Timmy Franklin. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. How's okay. he going? Did he get some volunteers after yesterday? Um, one of his volunteers contacted me actually, who was oh. one of his. Uh, American volunteers who's Australian and he said that they actually would get up every morning and listen to our podcast and it would get them like up and ready to go. Oh, that's lovely. That's awesome. lovely. Mm. Uh, so Timmy heard yesterday, he sent this this morning, legends, thank you for the love and welcome back. 
The last six weeks was tough without you all. Mm. Just to provide some details for Troy regarding the rules. Oh, uh, yeah, right. And the travel. Because yes. you were uh, wondering yeah, how he could get. get from Bulgaria. To Perth. To Perth. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like you're missing a lot of the world. It does. Yeah. Uh, I have to run a minimum distance of 26,232 kilometres, starting and finishing at the exact same point. Wow. So right. that's so a couple started circle. in Brisbane. Yeah. yeah. I have to run on a minimum of four continents with a minimum of 3,000 kilometres on each of those uh, continents for it to count. Right. Wow. Um, I have to start and finish within one kilometre of the ocean or a major water inlet on each of those con continents. Okay. Why? Right. So you can't like drive there. inland and like, or fly yeah. inland inland. Drive yeah. to the top of a hill and yeah. just run, run down. down. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's done North America, South America, Europe. Yeah, that's and three. Australia is TBO. Oh, yeah. right. Right. Okay. Um, there you go. At the time you are reading this, I will have 30 kilometres to reach the Black Sea in Romania at a town called Costanta. Cas You're saying that correctly? I was going to say, I think you... it's pronounced Cunsta. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, will don't, you? Do not miss <laughs> that. <laughs> Was that your nickname? Don't miss that one. <laughs> do not bleep it. Did you say? Don't, don't miss it. Oh. <laughs> don't you bleep that. <laughs> I, meant to say. I will not Don't silenced. you dare bleep like. Bleep like. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you been there on holiday? Yeah, I believe I was yeah. there briefly. Mm. <laughs> uh, that will be the end of Europe at Constanta. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, I'm running Malaysia to Singapore just to break up the flight home. <laughs> just, oh, just really? A little cheeky jog. That's so cute. They are relatively close. Yeah. Uh, at present, I've run 18,500 Ks, seven and a half to go. I'm currently the second wow. fastest person in history to reach this point. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, so this is extraordinary. A, somebody's done this before him? Yeah. I mean, well, if there's rules, there must be some sort of body. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. Uh, well, keep guess? going, Tim. You're doing amazingly yeah. well. He yeah. says, thanks for sharing my story. So it's Timmy R. Franklin. If you will, we should share it. We didn't share it yesterday, so I'll do that today. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see you all in Melbourne. Can't wait. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Is he coming amazing. to us? Is he going to, like, run gonna into the studio yeah, and perfectly time it for eight? Sure. Uh, we'll uh, figure uh, it out. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he'll stay nearby. He sleeps yeah. at night. Lauren will produce that. Yeah, <laughs> we might get could... someone else onto that. It's right no, me. I can do that. I, I am. Don't know if you can. I can. Running past Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> he ducks into chats with Byron Cook. <laughs> I will be able to do that. <laughs> All right, get in touch with us anytime through Insta at Marty Shugo Show. Uh, we will chat to you next time here at Triple M. Who's hosting ACA tonight? Uh, I'm going to say it's the Cat Empire. Ricky Ponting. Frank Walker. <laughs> Frank Walker. Hello. Oh, Lionel. Lionel. What did you say? <laughs> I said it's Adele. Adele. <laughs> Miss some Marty. Now hang on. Or just want some more Marty in your life. Oh, you dirty mm. old bird. Then get the Marty Sheer Gold Show on the listener app. Go here go. if you need me. <laughs> just search Marty and he'll be in your ears. That's got to hurt. Triple M's Marty Sheer Gold Show.